Okay, no problem for chapter three. We will move to chapter four. Okay, chapter four. Okay, they say chapter four also quite important, lah. Okay, they say lah. They say. Ah, uh, you have question you can ask, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, can teach process of active transport. What do you mean? Which one? Okay. So for for chapter four, right? Ah, uh, they say this is important. So you can. You uh, take note lah. Okay, I can see you take note lah for those who are having paper sooner. Two point one shows a nucleotide structure. Name J and K. This is a nucleotide. Nucleotide means what? Means the simplest molecule for your DNA, RNA. It's called nucleotide. We have to label this J K L. J is the round shape. What is the round shape called? What is the round shape? Correct. It is called phosphate group. Very good. J. Is called phosphate group. Okay, J is called phosphate group. K is what? K is pentose sugar. Correct. This is pentose sugar. Okay, but you have to take note. If the question give you RNA, your answer is not pentose sugar. DNA sugar is called deoxyribose sugar. You have to read the question. RNA sugar is called ribose sugar. If the question just give you nucleotide, your answer is a pentose sugar. You have to read this thing. Negri Sembilan trials paper ask the solution fill in the empty space and in the plant cell and plasmolysis. What to write? It should be the solution name lor. So see what is inside the solution lor. Maybe maybe later after class you show me the question. Okay. Now I don't know what is the solution. I cannot tell you the solution. Okay, next ah. Uh. Okay, match the base to the correct pair. Because the last one here is your nitrogenous base. This is the nitrogenous base. Nitrogenous base. They ask you to pair up. What has a pair? Who has a pair? The one with the pair can only be DNA because RNA don't have a pair. Only DNA has a pair. Adenine has to pair with which alphabet? Adenine has to pair with, correct, T, thymine. A has to pair with T. C has to pair with G. Remember, at GC, A, T, G, C. This is for DNA. Okay, if it's mRNA, then you have to remember A is with U, G is with C. Yeah? Remember to read the question. See what they want. Draw the diagram 2.2 shows a part of DNA structure. They ask you to compete, if I'm not mistaken. Uh. They usually give you the ask you to compete. How do you complete a DNA diagram? Not difficult, but you have to match the shape. First, you draw a bond. Uh, we have a bond in between here. Okay. And then you have to match the shape. If this is round over here, round right, uh, you have to draw a round shape. Round means what? You have to draw like that. Match my right. Uh, like that. Can you see it matches? You have to match the shape. Uh, if it's like that, at the bottom part, uh, if it's this part, bottom part, uh, again, you have to match them. How to draw match? Like that. Uh, match right. Uh, only this part, you have to match them. Uh, the bond doesn't matter. You just have to draw the lines, okay? Then, what is the important here? You have to draw what? You have to draw the pentose sugar. But the pentose sugar, you have to make sure that invert the diagram. Uh, invert, uh, your hydrogen bond, uh, you invert. The one that joined the two nitrogenous base is the hydrogen bond. You have to invert the pentose sugar. To draw the inverted diagram, because it was like that, right? The tip part, the top part is the tip. You invert this diagram means you draw at the bottom part. Like that. Invert. Okay? Same thing here. You invert. Invert the diagram. And then you join, 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 join. Not like that kind of, okay, invert the diagram. So it's the main thing that you have to invert the pantol sugar because your teacher will look at whether you invert this or not. The dotted line is the hydrogen bond, correct? The dotted line is the hydrogen bond, yeah? Can I see MR and A, A and U, A and U, G and C? For chapter 4, because I didn't include in these notes, you also have to read through the lipid and also the protein. Okay, please, uh, for those who are having exact note, lipid and carbohydrate. Okay, uh, because I didn't include in this part. 
invert the balik lah. This is the balik. The balik is only what? Means you have to draw downwards. If you want you want to draw this, you draw this one downward also can. This one you draw downward also correct. Ah, uh, you draw downwards. Because it's not DNA is not just two. It has a list of it. Means continuously we have this multiple one on top at the bottom. Uh, you're gonna draw like that, invert the diagram as long as you invert this diagram. So you're going you also have to read through the lipid and also the carbohydrate, yeah. You want to draw three also can because it's not supposed to be wrong. A DNA chain is a chain. It cannot be only two. It's a chain. It's a polynuclear chain. It's supposed to be a chain downward. Lah. Explain the importance of nucleic acid in the cell. What is the importance of nucleic acid? doesn't matter whether it's a DNA or RNA. We can talk about the importance of nucleic acid. Nucleic acid. When will uracil come out? When it's only RNA. RNA don't have the... Don't have... Don't, they, they have no timing. They only have uracil. Uh, synthesize protein. Correct. Your importance of DNA is to carry genetic information and also to synthesize protein. When do we write deoxyribose sugar? When the question asks about DNA. So for this one, you're going to write carry genetic information. And then you can say determine the traits in organism. Traits means characteristic, by the way. This one means characteristic, yeah? Or you can say synthesized protein. This one you can also write synthesized protein. Does the line has to touch the corner of the phosphate group, the line between the phosphate and nitrogenous base. You have to touch the group. You have to touch this thing. Which What do you mean? You have to touch here. You have to touch all of it. Well, exam asks the sequence of mRNA codons. Uh, you haven't reached the stage they will ask you mRNA codons. But in Form 5, they will ask you to see what is the difference in the mRNA codon because sometimes we have mutation. If there is new, there is a mutation. The codon is different, but your level, I don't think so, lah. Okay, give one difference between RNA and DNA. They ask you to write differences in structure. Things that we can see is called structural differences, ah. DNA, RNA got what differences in structure? DNA and RNA, which one is longer? Which is longer, DNA or RNA? Of course, DNA is longer, right? So this is longer in structure. This is shorter in structure. Okay, besides that, what can we talk about? We can talk about double helix, correct? This is double helix polynucleotide chain. For RNA, is single strand polynucleotide chain. We can also talk about the sugar contains. For DNA, it contains of deoxyribose sugar. And then this one contains ribose sugar. Or I can have a shorter in structure. Thanks, guys. Shorter in structure. Shorter in structure. Okay, done with chapter 4. Remember to go and read up your lipid and your carbohydrate also because I didn't include in chapter 4. But later we will do carbohydrate in chapter 5. Everybody okay with this? Can say double shredded instead of helix can. You can write double shredded polynuclear chain. Everybody okay? Okay, done with chapter 4.